but not least, really quickly, we're going to get to our games to look out for. Uh, Arky, you are headed west for your games to look out for. What are you looking at? Oh, uh, I'm looking at Stanford basketball playing, I feel like, in 30 minutes. I mean, it's an early game. Uh, I think it's <laughs> 4 o'clock Central Time. Uh, they're taking on Washington State. And Stanford is a 7.5-point underdog in this game. And I like Stanford to cover the plus 7.5. I'll be brief with this one since it is our game to look out for. Mm-hmm. We're running out of time here. Stanford had like a three-week pause on their basketball program because of COVID and not their system Oof. or their, uh, their, 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 their team but others. And finally, they they were able to come back last week, and they beat undefeated USC. I think there's a lot of momentum with that. I think Stanford's a pretty decent basketball team. They're probably an NIT team uh, at best right now, but they're not bad. And Washington State is also a fairly average Pac-12 team. The Pac-12 is very, very top-heavy. Very, mm-hmm. very top-heavy. And once you get to the middle, guys, it's a puncher's chance for everybody in every game. So I'm going to take Stanford plus 7.5 late this afternoon against Washington State. I like it. I'm looking to the NBA. The Timberwolves visit the Grizzlies. Memphis is the four-point favorite with a total at 231. The Grizzlies have been playing some solid basketball as of late, and we'll look to continue that tonight and make it 10 games, uh, hopefully. They are on a 10-game winning streak currently. The Timberwolves currently sit at ninth in the West, while Memphis is in fourth. The Grizzlies are 22-9 and nine in conference play this season, while Minnesota is 15-14. and 14. This will be the third matchup between these two teams this season. Their first meeting, the Grizzlies got the win in OT, but the second saw the Timberwolves put up a huge win, 138-95. Both of those games taking place back in November. The biggest concern for Memphis is, of course, Stephen Adams' status. He's still listed as day-to-day uh, due to health and safety protocols. He has been huge for Memphis, averaging seven points, but more importantly, roughly 9.4 rebounds per game. So we'll keep this short and sweet. Memphis is 28-15 and 15 against the spread. Minnesota is 21-18-2. and 2. 21 of the Grizzlies games have gone over, while the Timberwolves have done it in 22. I'll be honest, I had a hard time with this one based on their past two games. I want to take Minnesota based on the way the... Uh, based on those last two games, but the way the Grizzlies have been playing as of late, I'm tempted to take them. So I'm going to take a page out of your book, Arky. In this case, I think the juice is worth the squeeze, so I will be taking the Grizzlies' money line, just in case, sitting at minus 168. Let's keep the streak alive. Go Memphis. Yeah, this is a weird game. It could be a really, really close game, so you just want to flat out get a win. I think you can do that. Memphis, uh, like, you can't got to keep going with them until they tell you not to, right? Exactly, exactly. So. Till they show me otherwise, gonna roll with him.